Well, defections clearly are top of mind as far as political parties here in Goa are concerned. The Aam Aadmi Party is handing out an oath to each and every voter as they go door to door campaigning here in Goa, trying to convince voters that they won't defect to another party if they vote for them. We caught up uh, with Amit Palikar, the chief ministerial candidate of the Aam Aadmi Party. Listen in. Joining us on the campaign trail from the Santa Cruz constituency here in Goa is the Aam Aadmi Party's chief ministerial candidate, Amit Palikar. Amit, thanks very much for being with us. You know, one of the very unique things about your um, door-to-door -door campaign that I've noticed is that you're handing over these uh, affidavits that you've made all your candidates sign. Yes, uh, what we're doing is we're building the confidence in people of Goa because Goa has no, been known for defections. As I always said, Goa has been an encyclopedia of defections. And I think that needs to change. And how do you do that change? How do you bring that change? You show them the affidavit that you're giving, that it's in, it's in, it's a statement on oath, it's in writing that uh, we are not going to defect, we are not going to leave the party. This is a statement on oath, and we have sworn this and submitted to the party, and we, we have the pictures of that, and we are giving it to the people of Goa. So, what is the repercussion if everybody in your party has signed this, and if they still defect after the election? What is the repercussion? Is I it think, legally binding? Yeah, first of all, it's it's a document in writing. We know the contract. We know that uh, no, nobody have written. It's a statement on oath. You are going to be doing a breach of trust. Uh, you, you have a matter of cheating. Is it hard to convince people uh, no, um, no, between between Kamal effect. and Hart? They are so used to no, it. No, 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 no. They have never been with Kamal. They have been with Hand. But that is, uh, in fact, if you've seen how defections have happened, they have no faith in uh, Hand anymore you know they are looking for a change all of them are looking for a change if you look at them their face you see the state here you know this is what they have been given for last 30 years you said ye kamal nahi ye haath ko zarur vote karte the huh. are you going to eat into the opposition vote are you going to eat into the vote of the of the congress is that going to make the political landscape post election even more complicated no it's not i'll tell you the fact is uh, so there, it, this is a mixed constituency so even uh, lotus i mean the bjp had got equivalent votes, about 1000 votes difference most of the time that the person has got elected. So in fact I am taking the votes for progress. I am taking votes from progress as well as BJP which have been hardcore voters of, of uh, BJP and Congress. And you see BJP is losing its vote share only because of the fact that people have indulged into corruption. If you have to ally with the Congress party at the end of the day, how difficult is that going to be or do you think you are open? To all of that uh, in a post poll scenario. See, we do not want to get into any sort of an adjustment where we have to compromise on our principles. I think we will never let our principles down. Uh, that is honesty and fight against corruption. Our fight is against corruption, and if we have to, unfortunately, if we have to do some alliance, it can never be with BJP for sure. Extremely fascinating to see. It's the unprecedented first time, probably, in an election that candidates are handing over uh, oaths to constituents promising that they won't leave the Ahmadmi party if they indeed do win from uh, an Ahmadmi party ticket. With camera person Sanjay Mandal, this is Rishika Barwa for NDTV in Goa.